Did you know that carbohydrates are not just your body's main energy source, but also an integral part of your immune system? Yes, that's right. Consuming carbohydrates before a workout can give you a much needed energy boost, enhancing your physical performance. And when you're pushing yourself, your body draws from the energy it's stored from glycogen, which comes directly from those carbs. Following your workout, it's crucial to replenish those glycogen stores. And guess what does the job? You've got it, carbohydrates. They also play a vital role in boosting your immune system post-workout, helping your body recover and prepare for the next challenge. The sweet spot for consuming carbohydrates and other macronutrients is about two hours before you hit the gym. As for your post-workout meal, try to get those carbs in between 15 minutes to an hour after you finish, depending on the intensity of your exercise. So remember to fuel up with carbohydrates before and after your workout sessions. Think carbohydrates and protein don't play a role in a child's growth? Think again. Let's dive into the fascinating world of nutrition and explore how these two elements impact growth patterns in children. Here's a fact that might surprise you. A diet high in carbohydrates and low in protein can actually stunt a child's growth. When a child consumes an abundance of carbohydrates, their insulin levels rise. This surge in insulin leads to a decrease in growth hormone, effectively slowing down the growth process. On the flip side, not getting enough protein in their diet can hinder bone development. Protein is essential for building strong, healthy bones, and a lack of it can prevent children from reaching their full growth potential. So what's the solution here? It's all about balance. A balanced diet that includes the right amounts of carbohydrates and proteins is absolutely crucial. When children consume the appropriate amounts of these nutrients, they're able to maximize their growth potential, resulting in stronger, healthier bodies. But remember, it's not just about quantity. Quality matters too. Encourage children to consume complex carbohydrates from sources like whole grains, fruits and vegetables, and high quality proteins from lean meats, dairy products, and plant-based sources. In conclusion, a balanced diet with the right amounts of carbohydrates and proteins is essential for the healthy growth of children. So let's make sure we're giving our kids the fuel they need to grow, thrive, and reach their full potential. Ever felt hungrier after consuming a meal rich in simple carbohydrates? Here's why. Simple carbohydrates, often found in foods like white bread, pastries, and sugary drinks, are easily and quickly digested by your body. This rapid digestion causes a spike in your blood sugar levels, prompting your pancreas to release more insulin to balance it out. Now here's the twist. Higher insulin levels can cause your blood sugar to drop drastically, leading to an infamous sugar crash. This sudden drop triggers your body to crave more food, making you feel hungrier than before. But it's not just about the insulin. Simple carbohydrates are notorious for their high sugar content. When you consume these sugars, your brain releases dopamine, a feel-good hormone that creates a sense of pleasure and satisfaction. This dopamine rush can drive you to consume more of these simple carbohydrates, further fueling your hunger. So does this mean you have to give up on your sweet treats entirely? Not at all. The key here is mindful eating. By controlling the portion sizes of these sugary foods and balancing them with proteins and fibers, you can enjoy your sweet cravings without the guilt and without increasing your hunger. Pair your dessert with a handful of nuts or opt for whole grain bread instead of white. Remember, you can still enjoy your sweet cravings, but do it mindfully. Believe it or not, you can lose weight without cutting carbohydrates in your diet. The common myth is that to shed those extra pounds, you must completely eliminate carbohydrates from your meals. But that's not entirely true. It's not about removing carbs. It's about understanding how to consume them wisely. Carbohydrates are essential to our bodies. They provide the energy we need to function properly throughout the day. But like everything else in life, they should be consumed in moderation. The key to a healthy weight is not the absence of carbs, but the balance and control of them in your diet. So how do you achieve this balance and control? The answer lies in portion control. Portion control is about understanding how much of each food type your body needs to maintain a healthy balance. It's about being aware of the quantity of food you consume at each meal and ensuring it aligns with your body's nutritional needs. It's important to remember that not all carbs are created equal. There are simple carbs, like those found in sugary drinks and pastries, which provide quick energy but can spike your blood sugar levels and leave you feeling hungry again soon after. Then there are complex carbs found in whole grains, fruits, and vegetables that provide longer lasting energy and keep you feeling full for a longer time. 
By understanding the difference between these types of carbs and controlling the portions you consume, you can maintain a balanced diet that supports weight loss. You don't need to completely cut out that bowl of pasta or that slice of bread. What you need is to ensure that you're not overdoing it and that you're balancing it out with other essential nutrients. A great way to start practicing portion control is through meal prepping. By planning and preparing your meals in advance, you can ensure that you're getting the right balance of nutrients each day. This not only helps prevent overeating, but also saves you time and money. So before you consider cutting out carbohydrates, remember that portion control is key. It's not about eliminating an entire food group, but about understanding how to consume it wisely and in the right amounts. After all, a healthy diet is a balanced diet. Meet the ketones. When glucose is in short supply, your body has a backup energy source. Ketones, produced in the liver from the burning of fat, step in to save the day. This is the foundation of a ketogenic diet. It's a diet strategy where carbohydrates are significantly reduced, and the body is forced to rely on ketones for energy. But before you start tossing out all your bread and pasta, let's delve a little deeper into the world of ketones. Ketones have a few tricks up their sleeve. They act like antioxidants, which help protect your cells from damage. They also preserve muscle mass, and some research even suggests they may inhibit the growth of certain cancers. Sounds pretty impressive, right? However, it's not all sunshine and roses in the land of ketones. A ketogenic diet, while beneficial in many ways, can lead to nutritional deficiencies. You see, when you're cutting out a whole group of foods, you're also cutting out the nutrients they provide. This can lead to deficiencies in essential vitamins and minerals, which are vital for overall health. But don't fret, this downside can be mitigated. Dietary supplements can help fill in the nutritional gaps left by a ketogenic diet. So if you're considering going keto, it would be wise to discuss it with a healthcare professional first. They can guide you on the right supplements to take to ensure you're getting all the nutrients you need. So there we have it. When glucose derived from carbohydrates is scarce, ketones come to the rescue. While they provide several benefits, it's important to be aware of their potential downsides. So while carbohydrates are essential, they aren't the only energy source for your brain. Keep that in mind the next time you plan your diet.